witchking.com let's take a look at this extremely good looking beast of a axe this is the officially licensed death dealer axe and this death dealer axe was originated from Frank Frazetta one of his most famous pieces of art and again, it's officially licensed by the Frazetta Museum. It's a high carbon steel. That spike there at the pommel, it's a high carbon steel. That's a hardwood shaft. Nice looking. The quality of this beast is incredibly good. It's really thick. Let's see if we can take a look at the thickness down there. It's over five millimeters thick. Let me just make it my hand in there and kind of get an example. But yeah, you can see how massive this is. I have really large hands and this thing is enormous. As you can imagine, weighing 10 pounds. That's some good looking steel. But anyhow, I first discovered was that his artwork when I was in junior high. I was, was a big fantasy artist, connoisseur. I've always liked fantasy artwork. Grew up with Conan and Conan the Barbarian and watched Conan with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Frazetta's art was just incredible. Still is, of course. His works have been, of course, in comic books, record albums, movie posters. The thing is about 43 inches. It's a 1065 tempered high carbon steel. Yes, it is sharp, sharpened. And there's a box over there. There's a display plaque, which is massive. It's that same shield motif. I don't need to show this art to you, but you've already seen it many times. So yeah, the display plaque is really nice quality, massive. I just cannot believe they were able to make a licensed version of the Zacks. And just because I've known that painting for most of my life, it brought his art to life with this classic, iconic masterpiece of a axe. Definitely does have that death dealer appearance to it. Looks like it could have came out of medieval times. That is some good looking steel. I mean, if you were to say to me, hey, this was made 500 plus years ago, I would say, okay, that makes sense. But why is there no rust? Some great craftsmanship. And if Windlass is known for making incredible pieces, very durable, battle ready. But it does come with all the hardware for the mounting plaque, etc. to hang this on your wall. I would say attach it to a stud so it doesn't fall off being that's weighing in at 10 pounds. It does come with a certificate of authenticity. I didn't pull that out. I didn't even see it, but I know it does come with one. But yeah, 73. That's when he did his infamous death leader painting and again he didn't have a recurring I was a recurring character in a lot of his work 
I need to pull out one of his old uh, art books that I have. But yeah, the Frazetta family fully endorsed this piece. And again, it is licensed. But they also said the uh, proceeds benefit the Frazetta Art Museum. Which that is nice. That's very cool. That his artwork is being presented and onto the next generation. Rosetta influenced a lot of artists. His works were typically oil paintings. I'm not sure if he did any acrylic work. All right, what am I doing? Let's pick this thing up. All right, I'm gonna do it with one hand. Grab this beast. And again, you really have to wield this with both hands. It's kind of hard to see the scale of it. Again, that is heavy, but Wow, that is good looking. So, man, I just cannot believe how, for lack of a better word, that is beautiful. That is a 10. Look at that spike. So whether you're an executioner or just want to cut down some trees or do some yard work with this or hang it on your wall, what more could you ask for? And they also made a sword also from the painting but of course it's not the as iconic as this axe and when it's also made a shield but this piece of is the axe to have Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut down some trees. All right, what else can I tell you about this? Well, again, if you're a fan of Rosetta's work, like I was and still is, then you can appreciate this masterpiece. And again, if you do compare this to the original artwork, that is spot on. Now, no, I don't need to show it to you again. You've seen this, this painting. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you're very familiar with his work. This is just the box that it came in. Frazetta does have some licensed prints. The Frazetta family does offer these prints that are licensed also. I'd recommend getting a licensed one and, and frame it next to your axe. All right, I guess I'm about to call it. That's pretty much all I can say about this masterpiece. Other than I'm just blown away by this. I don't know how they collaborated this or where it came from, but... I'm glad they made it.
Westking.com, signing off.